Hi, everyone. So, my name is Swan Martinez, and today I'm going to talk about open source real time collaborative workflow in Blender, in one word, sharing. So, I'm currently doing a PhD in partnership with Cube Creative and the InRave research team from University Paris 8. My researches are focused on the link between real-time technologies and animation production, such as how animation production could benefit from real-time in terms of communication tools. So, I will begin by explaining some limitations of today's animation pipeline. Then I will show you an experimental solution. And finally, I will confront it to both industrial and ed educational context. Before starting, I just wanted to say that there is other good existing solution to achieve real-time collaboration such as Pocket Studio, NVIDIA Omniverse, or even game engine integration, such as the multi-user plugin for Unreal Engine, or uh, Synfusion for Unity. But none of these were providing what I need, such as open sources or a Blender compatibility, because I needed to experiment collaboration into a multi-purpose DCC directly into it. Let's give some context first. Today's animation pipeline have been industrialized. What does it mean? It means that it relies on a linear assembly line. A linear assembly line is a manufacturing process in which parts are added as the semi-finished product move from workstation to workstation. In animation, workstation means production stages, such as storyboarding, lighting, rendering, even compositing. And parts could either be asset or shot. So we have all those shots and asset linearly created through all those stages to bring the movie to life. Simple, isn't it? But today's animation production looks more like that. Artists working on individual tasks behind the screen. There is no communication between artists from different stages. Those walls of isolation is keeping them from knowing what happened before and after their tasks. This wall of silence could lead to mistakes. Here, for example, the since the animator doesn't have any lighting information, he couldn't prevent his character from casting unwanted shadow on the right bottom of the picture during the lighting stage. Those kind of errors could impact the whole production chain and can be really tricky to roll back and cost a lot of money. All those all those limitations from linear assembly line could come from a simple fact. Between stages, we are only sharing result, not creation process. So, how to bring back communication between stages and gi give back some project visibility to the artist? Let's take some step back. In IT, developers are using agile methodology to collaborate easily on projects and get a better project visibility. In those methods, an interesting concept is pair programming. It consists bringing multiple developers to work on the same code base at the same time. By doing this way, they are sharing their knowledge and made better decision to orient development. So, hmm. why 
doesn't apply those concepts in animation and call it fair creation, for example. Yeah, let's try that. So, in my opinion, fair creation consists to bring multiple artists to work on the same on the same piece at the same time asynchronously. But more precisely, in animation, fair creation consists to bring multiple digital artists from different or same stages to collaborate on the same scene at the same time. But putting multiple users into the same shared space induces some problematics like how they will see each others, how they will communicate to, to collaborate because the communication is the key for solid collaboration and an efficient collaboration. And finally, how to prevent conflict between users. With all those problems in mind, I made the Blender multi-user add-on, which consists to bring multiple artists into the same blend at the same time. And the uh, left, <laughs> thanks. At the left, you have a basic user representation with user selected objects and user frustrum. And at the right, you have all session uh, related settings such as the user list with related actions and replicated properties actions. The add-on is based on a basic client server architecture with a data-oriented replication because Blender the doesn't allow me to make uh, operational-based replication because of context conflict. I also took some inspiration of Git-based mechanism to give some flexibility into the replication pipeline. So we have a basic add-on which can put multi -use, multiple users into the same space and do things together. Let's try to let's try it in both industrial and educational context. But before starting, I just want to specify that all industrial tests were made at Cube Creative with Tangra Tangranimo asset. Tanganimo is a cartoon TV show produced by Cube Creative. Our first try consisted to bring four CG supervisor in the following scene. No rules given. I just asked them to try to enrich the scene with the existing. And we end up with that. A total chaos. <laughs> Because without any direction and uh, without any direction and a too soft right management, users were, users were interfering with each others and doing nothing productive. This is what I call the sandbox effect. And strong of this knowledge, we set up a, th a second experiment with three artists this time: Tanguy, Clemence, and Tristan. I assigned a collection per artist to avoid conflict, and they started with an empty scene and with the following asset palettes from Tangranimo to make a background concept. Here you can see Clemence making some nice rocks while Tanguy is adjusting the lighting color in real time. Those kind of feedbacks are possible thanks to Evie. This time the session was more productive. This is the, the result. And an, an interesting fact was the spatial user work repartition. In yellow, you have Tristan's work. In green, you have Clemence's work. In red, you have Tongi's work. And at the beginning, each of them were working in his own corner. But as time passed, they started to work together to bring the island to life. By using oral communication as a way to organize themselves, 
they started to break the wall of isolation. We learned another interesting fact. Without solid spatial guidelines, the user doesn't know where to start. Like here, you have some wood without purpose because they don't start with, with strong foundations. So it could, lack, it could lead, the, lead the artist to a lack of consistency in the background composition. With that in mind, we set up, thanks to Claire Nathan, a third experiment, only Tanguy and Clemens this time, assets from Tangrenimo still there. And like before, they put solid foundation first together. So here is the time lapse of the experiment. You can see Tanguy in blue and Clemens in green working together. They started to put some hills, then they are bringing the environment to life. And And it will come to a point where Tanguy will bring some nice rocks together while Clemence is adjusting the, the cloud. And something interesting will happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clemence just put Tanguy into shadows. <laughs> so. Tanguy immediately told her to move his object away. This kind of feedbacks and responsiveness is given by the real-time aspect of the collaboration and allows Tanguy to react quickly on Clement's mistakes. In a traditional linear pipeline, mistakes like that took more time and money. And here is the result of the third experiment more consistent this time because they started to put common foundations first. I will rapidly talk about my experimentation in teaching Blender with the multi-user add-on. So I let seven students work together on one common project. They done lighting, compositing, and a bit of shading and modeling together on one shared space, on one shared blend. And it turns out that being in the same space allowed them to share feedback together and to, to be more, to go to, to be more easily, to help them together. Yeah. <laughs> and it also help, allows me to help them without quitting my chair. <laughs> Very useful. <laughs> so, this, the add-on is far from finished now, but I learned some interesting facts from all those sessions, such as the coordination effort is much more complex than in traditional linear workflow, because without solid right management, it, it's users, uh, sorry. <laughs> Without a solid right management, there are conflicts between artists. A solid foundation need also to be provided since the beginning, because without any solid foundation, a lack of consistency is starting to show, to be, to pop. And, but, <laughs> oral communication become a natural way to share feedback and allow user to react with each other in a natural way and lead them to better decision, artistic decision, and allow them to prevent mistake. Some artists also told me that it makes the creation fun again. Until now, the multi-user add-ons known some lim limitation, like slow performance on complex meshes and to, to tackle with that, I, I evil used collection instances to let Blender handle the EV, EV data. 
Until now, not all data block types are supported yet, like animation or particle, but I'm working on it. And since we hadn't any need for new communication channel directly in Blender because we done all, te all of our tests locally, I didn't develop like in a communication system like internal chat or VOIP. What next? Firstly, I will start by bringing multiple animators on the same scene. So animation support will be a first step. Then I will add, add a, a better support for differential revision in order to reduce network, to reduce a network bandwidth. And then I will start to put the supervisor in VR in order to help him to get the bigger picture of his artist working together. Finally, I will run some quality and time evaluation to, to evaluate the mason. <laughs> and my guess is a future where real-time collaborative workflow will allow artists to work together on the same on the same movie and to bring all it to prove to sorry <laughs> to allow together to work as an orchestra to bring the movie to life coordinated by supervisor and director thank you all for listening <laughs> the other is available on the